What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have my Hell in a Cell 2017 predictions. As you know, the pay-per-view is a couple days away, and I think that this match card is absolutely stacked in my opinion. I know a lot of people aren't really looking forward to it, but in my opinion, I think if you take a step back and actually take a look at the card and look at each match individually and all that good stuff, I think that you will see that it has a lot of talent on it, and I think that all the matches on the card have a chance to be pretty good. Um, I am excited for it. I cannot wait for the pay-per-view, so let's go ahead and get straight into these predictions. All right, guys, starting things out, we have this tag team match between the Hype Bros in Zack Ryder and Mojo Raleigh taking on Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. And I'm going to start this thing off by saying that I'm such a huge fan of Shelton Benjamin, and I'm so very happy to have him back in WWE. It's just amazing, and I think that this tag team that he has formed with Chad Gable is going to do a lot of successful things in the future. I could definitely see them winning this matchup and then going on to fight the winner of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match. Um, I think that uh, that's what this is going to set up down the road. I also think that Mojo Raleigh will be taking the pinfall here, and that's going to finally crack Zack Ryder, turning him heel, leading to a feud between them two. Pretty sure that's going to happen. I hope it happens. I'm a big fan of Zack Ryder as well, and I would like to see what he's got as a heel going forward um, since his uh, face run has been pretty sloppy since he got injured and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go with Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin picking up the win. Up next, we have a singles match between my boy Dolph Ziggler taking on Bobby Roode. As you know, we do not have a Bobby Roode figure released just yet. It was shown at uh, SDCC, however, and we should be getting a Bobby Roode basic soon, hopefully in the future. So um, getting into this match, I think that it's obvious that Dolph Ziggler will be putting over Bobby Roode here, even though Bobby Roode is three years older than Dolph Ziggler. He is a newer talent in the WWE. You know he just got caught up to the main roster. And um, it's obvious that he will be getting put over here over Dolph Ziggler. But I am enjoying Dolph Ziggler's run as far as his new gimmick or whatever as he's impersonating people with their entrances and mocking them and then, you know, dropping some pretty fire promos in my opinion. I think he's doing well with that part of it. But, um, you know, they're going to book him to lose and it's just sad to see. And this could end up being his last pay-per-view match in his WWE career. As you know, his contract is expiring soon. I think it's this month. So this could be his last pay-per-view match for WWE. However, I will be following him wherever he goes. Um, always will be a supporter of Dolph Ziggler. However, I'm going to go with Bobby Roode getting the win here. And a, hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure this match will be pretty enjoyable because, you know, both are great in the ring. So I'm looking forward to that. But Bobby Roode will pick up the win. Up next, we have a match between my boy Randy Orton taking on Rusev in a singles match. I think there were rumors that this was going to be changed to a last man standing match, which I think would be a lot better for both men. It would give them a chance to shine, have them go back and forth, you know, beating the piss out of each other. I think it would be a lot better as a last man standing match. However, I don't think they ended up going through with it, um, which is, you know, unfortunate. However, I think that Rusev, you know, is trying to avenge his uh, four second loss or whatever it was at SummerSlam that a lot of people were pissed off about. Um, he did avenge that loss or whatever on SmackDown Live, you could say, because he beat Randy Orton after he had already had a match in under five seconds or something like that. But um, the build of this match has been, eh, in my opinion, I think that both men deserve better. Um, Rusev could easily be a main event guy. I think that Randy Orton, you know, a lot of people say he's old or whatever, but he's literally only like 37 years old. He's got plenty of uh, time left in the tank. He could easily hang with the best of them, and I think he's still a main eventer in my opinion. You know, ever since winning the WWE Championship at WrestleMania, all he has done is lose to people. So I think that both of these men really do need this win. But I'm going to go with Rusev winning um, in a dirty way. I don't think he wins clean. Uh, but I could see Randy Orton winning. I wish my boy would pick up the win. But I'm going to go with Rusev winning dirty by help from Aiden English, Lana, or somebody else. Up next, we have a Hell in a Cell tag team match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships between the New Day and the Usos. I think this feud has been fantastic ever since it started. All of these guys put on hella matches when they get in the ring together. I think both tag teams have solidified themselves as Hall of Famers in the future, and I think that they're going to tear the house down yet again, and I think that the New Day are going to retain here. I think that they finally put away the Usos for a while. I think that the Usos will move on to something else, and the New Day will move on to a new tag team, preferably Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Um, I think that that would be very nice to see, and I just think that this feud needs to end. I think this match is going to be great. Um, like I said before, I think that we should expect some pretty good 
spots in this match. We have seen these two teams go head-to-head, -head, back and forth a lot in their feud, and I think that the New Day will finally put away the Usos here. Up next, we have AJ Styles taking on Trash Corbin in a United States Championship match. I think that the only way that Baron Corbin should win this match is if he um, is going to, if it's going to send AJ Styles to the main event picture. And if that's not the case, then he definitely doesn't need to drop the belt here. I think that AJ Styles will retain. I'm going to go with AJ retaining here. I think that Ty Dillinger will probably get involved somewhere trying to make Baron Corbin not look completely terrible. But he's taking on AJ Styles, so I don't even think that's necessary. I think that AJ should win clean here. And um, Baron Corbin should just move on to jobber level or something like that and have uh, AJ find a better opponent, maybe Rusev or Randy Orton going forward, having a better feud there before dropping the United States Championship. I think that they need to have AJ Styles in the main event picture. Um, I think that it's pretty obvious that's probably the way they're going to go because I think that they're going to set up Nakamura versus AJ here. However... Um, Baron Corbin just needs to move on, Trash Corbin needs to leave, and we need to have AJ Styles retain here. Up next, we have the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match between Natalya and Charlotte. I think this match has the makings to be pretty good. You have two of the most talented women in the WWE going head-to-head -head here. I think that Charlotte will pick up the win, um, taking the title off of Natalya. Um, I think that Natalya has held the championship long enough. I think they're going to make Charlotte the second-ever Raw and SmackDown Live Women's Champion. So I think that will happen here. And I'm also going to make a bold prediction about Starcade coming up, that live event. I think that Charlotte will retain the title against Natalya at that event, and then Carmella will cash in on Charlotte and win the title. So it will be the first ever cash in at a live show. I think they're going to, you know, try to bring some, uh, some, uh, Big, a big moment to that uh, Starcade event or whatever. So I think that's definitely going to be happening. Um, we may see Carmella interfere in this match at Hell in a Cell, but I do think that Charlotte will be picking up the win. Up next, we have the WWE Championship match between Jinder Mahal and Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, I guess they did not trust these two to have a Hell in a Cell match, so they are just going at a regular singles match here for the title. I think that, I hope, I hope this match is a lot better than their last match. You know, the way it ended last time was pretty crap. Um, the way Jinder Mahal wins his matches is always the same, so that kind of sucks. So I hope their match is improved. I think that this match ends a different way. If they do have Jinder winning here, which is what I think is going to happen, I'm going to go with Jinder Mahal retaining here. But if that's the way they're going to go, I hope it's by some creative way. Um, and not just the Singh brothers distracting Shinsuke for a loss. So hopefully they do something different here, and it's not an interference win, but I could see it going that way. Um, not the biggest fan of Shinsuke Nakamura. I do think that he is good. However, I'm not a personal huge fan of him, um, but I do think that he has a lot of talent, but I just don't see them putting the title on him right here. I think that they're going to wait, maybe have him and AJ go for the title at WrestleMania or something like that. Could even see him winning the Rumble this year, setting up um, a championship match at WrestleMania, possibly. But I'm going to go with Jinder Mahal getting the retain. And last but not least, we have our main event right here. A Falls Count Anywhere Hell in a Cell match between Kevin Owens and Shane McMahon. I think this will be match of the night. I think they're going to give these guys like 40 minutes maybe even 30. Um, I think that they're going to go back and forth beating the dog crap out of each other. You know, the build of this match has been fantastic. Kevin Owens proving while he is probably the best heel in the business, I think he is personally. And um, Shane McMahon always proving every single match that he has that he actually has a lot of talent in the ring. I don't think people give him enough credit. I know that Kevin Owens could be a main event guy. He could easily be WWE champion. I hope that they bring him to that soon. Um, but I have enjoyed this feud, and I think that um, Shane McMahon will probably go away for a while after this. I think um, they're setting up either Shane, or not Shane, but Stephanie, or uh, Triple H coming back to be the GM or something like that. So hopefully that is the, um, uh, you know, the result of this match. However, I think this is going to be fantastic. I think there's going to be a lot of great spots. If there's not a uh, jump from the cell... I think that there will be um, some other things that happen in this match. You know, Kevin Owens has done a lot of crazy stuff in his entire career of wrestling. You know, in his uh, Ring of Honor days and stuff like that, he did a lot of crazy stuff. And Shane McMahon, you know his past, that he is insane. So I think we will see a lot of great spots in this match. Definitely the most um, looking forward to this one, the most out of all the matches on the card. So I'm so excited for this one. Obviously, I'm going with Kevin Owens picking up the win, sending Shane McMahon off of TV for a while. Um, and I think this match will be amazing. So that is my predictions for Hell in a Cell 2017, guys. 
leave a like, leave a comment on what your predictions are. Do you what do you think is going to happen? We even may see a Triple H interference in this match, which would be amazing. Um, but it probably won't happen. But I think this match is going to be incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.